as reporter Joel Pollack of Breitbart.com and then multiple other outlets to their credit pointed out that when the New York Times got caught spreading the lie, in other words, whoops, they already took the cruise. Uh, yeah, we messed that up. What they did is they didn't make a correction. They didn't highlight a change. They just tried to sneak it in a stealth edit in the article. In other words, to include a more accurate timeline, considering they botched it the first time. And by the way, that completely contradicted the entire thesis of their article. A real journalist, a real newspaper would admit that they were wrong, issue an apology, issue a correction. In an interesting way, their stealth edit is nothing but an admission of their guilt and an example how they tried to cover up their smear, their slander, their lies, and everything else. Ms. Belafonte, she's a hack. She works for a disgraceful organization, the same people that lied, Russia, Russia, impeach, impeach, Ukraine, Ukraine, uh, and Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh, same people that protected Clinton, that protected Comey, the deep state, and that never investigated the biggest abuse of power corruption scandal in history because they were too billing, busy uh, spreading conspiracy theories and more hoaxes. And by the way, yet another example of beyond journalist malfeasance here, they're culpable, and quietly editing the content when they are caught red-handed. And by the way, that's not where the story ends. It gets worse for them. On February 27th, three days before Mr. Joyce decided to go on his cruise, the same New York Times hack that tried to blame me for his death, Ginny Belafonte, she tweeted this, I fundamentally don't understand the panic. Incidence of the disease is declining in China. And by the way, the virus is not deadly in vast majority of cases. Production and so on will slow down and will obviously rebound. Okay, that is the type of behavior. By the way, same New York Times five or six days after the president put the travel ban in effect. That would be the same New York Times that said, it's, who says it's not safe to travel to China? Uh-huh, bad advice there too. This is the kind of rampant hypocrisy, negligent behavior that is so widespread. This is the 99% of the mob in the media, and I call them a mob for a reason. They are nothing but state-run print, state-run TV. They are the allies of all things radical, democratic, socialist, and extremist.